Hello and welcome to Cyber Hashira. Today's video is about hashing. It is an easy topic, therefore this video is going to be short. I will be discussing functions in PKCS11 that are used for generating hashes. Let's get into it. These are the PKCS11 digest functions that I will be discussing in today's video. I'll start with C digest init. The C digest init function is used to initialize a message digest operation. This is the starting point for any message digest operation. This function takes two arguments. Like many other PKCS11 function, the first argument is a session handle number. You need to have a session open for this function. And the second argument is the mechanism that you want to use for calculating the hash. This can be a hashing mechanism such as CKM SHA-1 or CKM SHA-256. And these are some return codes that C digest init may return. Uh, more information is also available on page 149. The next function is C digest. This function is used to perform a single part digest operation. For those who don't know, a single part operation are those where an entire data is processed in a single attempt. This is mostly suitable for small sized data. C digest takes five arguments. First argument is a session handle number. The second argument is the location of the data from which the hash will be calculated. Third argument is the size of that data. This is an unsigned long value. Fourth argument is the location where the hash calculated from the data will be written. And the fifth argument is the length of that hash. And these are some of the return codes that C digest function is expected to return. More information is available on page 149. C digest update is useful for multi-part digest operations. For example, if you have a large data, you would break that data into smaller chunks and then process each of those chunks individually to calculate the hash. This also means that depending on the number of chunks, an application may have to repeatedly execute C digest update. This function takes three arguments. The first argument is a session handle. Second argument is the location containing the small piece of data that needs to be processed for hashing. And the third argument is the length of that data. And these are some of the expected return codes. More information is available on page 150. The next function I want to talk about is C digest key. This function is used for calculating the hash value of a cryptographic key. This function takes two arguments. The first argument is a session handle. And the second argument is the object handle of the key whose value you want to digest. And here's a list of return codes that C digest key is expected to return. You can read about this function on page 151. The last function for this video is C digest final. This function finalizes a multi-part digest operation and returns the hash value of that data. It is also required to finalize C digest key function. C digest final takes three arguments. First argument is the session handle. The second argument is the location where the message digest should be written. And the final argument is the size of the digest value. Here's a list of some return codes that C digest final is expected to return. You can read more about this function on page 151. Okay, this is a short video. That is all I have for you today. I will not be doing any code review for this video as I think this topic is easy to understand. However, I do have some PKCS11 sample codes for hashing available on my GitHub page. Do check them out if you need them. Uh, please post all your questions, if any, in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And subscribe to my channel if you are new here. I will talk to you soon in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.